Me ruruku tātou, ngā uara o tō tātou kura. Tu ramatia, tu hikitia, ngā uara o tō tātou kura. Koia ko te manakitanga, te whakaranga tira, te manawa roa me te nākau pono. Kia uki ngā ngā kau me ngā, me ngā mahi o ia tauira o ia kaiako. Te tua paha, kia whaia i te paitāwhiti, kia ora te paitāta. Whakamau kia tīna, tīna, e rongo, whakairihia ki ronga, ki ronga hai. Good morning and welcome to the Year 11 prize giving. Please stand while the official party comes onto the stage, accompanied by the school song. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, you are not able to sing, but please enjoy the musical talents of our string quartet and Mrs Sutherland. Once the official party is on stage and the school song ends, please be seated. Congratulations in advance to all the prize winners here today. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koura katoa. Ka tangi te tīsi, ka tangi te kāka, ka tangi hoki a hau, tīhei mauri ora. Kia ora e te whanau and welcome to your year, tw year 11 2001 prize giving. Whether you're in the hall or watching this on the live stream, we're thrilled to have you with us to celebrate the achievements of these students. Soon your exams are going to start and for most of you there'll be a fairly steady diet of sleep, eat, do a bit of exercise, study, sit an exam. I'm not going to wish you luck, I don't believe luck's got much to do with exam success, but I really want to wish you the questions that you studied for and the results that you deserve. Your first foray into external exams can be a challenging time. Please be sensible. Make a time to come in, see your teachers if you're unsure of something. Listen to instructions really carefully and follow them to the letter. Make sure you turn up at the right time, on the right day, in the right place and answer the question you are asked. Those might seem like incredibly obvious things to say, but every year someone misses one of them, so we like to restate it. Year 11 hasn't always been easy. You guys have got a lot to thank Miss Moran for. She really cares about you, she worries what you get up to, and she is your fiercest ally. You are very well looked after by her, and I'm grateful for everything she does for you, and let's thank her now. you have had a strange couple of years. COVID has challenged us all, and some of your experiences in the senior school have been affected as a result. I think, if nothing else, we are all learning firsthand about some of the school's values, and I can't see that needing to reduce much in the years to come. So having strategies to help your independent learning, your self-management, your resilience, and your connectedness to others, let alone building your capacity to be kind, are essential. If you know that there are some areas you need to work on, think about that over the summer and put some changes in place for the future. I think we all acknowledge that it'll be a case of when, not if, we have time off school in the future, so we need to prepare for that as well as we can in advance. Next year offers you more opportunities and more experiences. By this time next year, we'll know who the 2023 school leaders are, and I can assure you there'll be people who have lived the school's values and been involved in school activities, in some cases since they started in year nine. You can't plan to be a leader, but you can plan to give of yourself and show responsibility across the school in the areas that you have an interest. That's what other students and staff know and acknowledge when it comes time to choose the leaders. So think about what you can do to contribute next year. I look forward to seeing you all again in early February when you come back to start 2022. The next few weeks are going to fly by I do wish you well, keep safe, and after exams, I hope you have a great summer holiday. 
you will have earned it. Ka kite anō. It's now my pleasure to hand over to Ms Moran. Kia ora e te It is really nice to have this many of you all together, in person and online. I love reading through the award list every year. I feel really privileged to see it just a little bit earlier than everyone else, because I have that sense of being so proud, and yes, you really deserve it. I also know that there are many not here today that have been ever so close to winning an award, because many of you have worked so hard. Congratulations to all the award winners here today. Andrew and Wananga time yesterday. I was thinking of you all in your 17 separate spaces. I want to thank you all for your hard work this year. It has been a pleasure to observe how you have grown to be senior students. When I think back to last year, some of my year 10 conversations with you are quite different have quite a different focus to what they have been now. Many of you have met and made new friends this year, while keeping in touch with old friends too. Sometimes navigating that has been hard. So over the summer break, reach out to others, check in on how they are, communicate out to your wider friend group, invite people to places, Enjoy hanging out in each other's houses rather than just messaging. Make memories in person and, where possible, try to switch off from news coverage every now and again. I've loved getting to know more of you this year and will keep randomly walking up to you next year to see how things are and how you're going. In Year 12, you'll be in the same lunch area, so much easier for me to find you. I would like to thank Ms Wilson for her study skills session and Ms Simonson for her NZQA exam information. Ms, Ms Wilson's study information has been shared with you, uh, but I can share that again in case you missed it. As you approach exams, remember the purpose of, derived, of the derived grades that you just set to find out what you do not know yet. So it is now the time to look at those papers, learn what you do not know yet. That is going to be your first task to focus on. And remember to reach out for help to your teachers during those double periods this week, because they are there, there for you. So please have a fun and safe Christmas, and remember, wai ho e te toipoto, kawa e te toiroa. Māori ora. And now it is my great pleasure to read the list of Year 11 prize winners for 2021. Certificates for Year 11 will be presented by Cathy Elder, who is going to Te Ora College in Rarotonga. Names are going to be read in groups of five, but we do ask that you hold your applause until the final name in each group has been read. Curriculum Awards. Grace Appleton, Distinction English. Jane Alt, Distinction Visual Art. Jess Barker, Distinction Mathematics and Statistics Internal. Brooke Iono, Distinction Economics and Mathematics and Statistics. Rachel Baker, First in Mathematics and Statistics and First in Te Reo Māori. Leila Boru, Distinction Visual Art. Ella Belling, Distinction Science. Annika Best, First in Music. Katie Blackley, First in Media Studies and First in English. Lily Bellevue, First in Geography, First in Science Extra, Distinction Mathematics and Statistics and Science. Kate Bell, Distinction, Commercial, Design and Print. 
Alex Brown, Distinction History. Grace Byrne, Distinction French. Ali Brown, Distinction Mathematics and Statistics and Science. Natasha Casey, Distinction English and Mathematics and Statistics. Katie Buck, First in Visual Art, Distinct, Distinction English and French. Kaylin Dorney, absent today, first in commercial design and print. Petulia Cooper Woodhouse, Distinction English and Science. Zoe Duffel Choi, Distinction Mathematics and Statistics Internal and Media Studies. Ashley Choi, first in Chinese, first in digital technologies and Distinction Mathematics and Statistics. Ruby Crow, Distinction Economics, Science and Sociology. Madalena Del Sosa, Distinction English, Geography, German and Science. <laughs> Hinewaroa Duncan, Distinction Te Reo Māori at Year 13. Helena Errington, Distinction, Mathematics and Statistics. Gabriel Esquieta, Distinction, Science. Isabel Feltham, Distinction, English and Science. Amelia Fogg, Distinction, History and Latin. Lily Haldane, Distinction Science. Megan Hodgkinson, First in History. Cara Gibson, Distinction English and Media Studies. Sophie Gill, Distinction English and Sociology. Neve Foley, First in English, Distinction Accounting and Science. Sylvia Jensen Clark, First in Health. Raina John, Distinction Science. Lucia Joyce, First in Science Internal. Lucy Yorker, Distinction Mathematics and Statistics. Kimberly Jones, First in Drama, Distinction Humanities. Sabine Kenworthy, Distinction Mathematics and Statistics. Fern Knight, Distinction English. Cecilia Quantz, Distinction Digital Technologies. Olivia Kusabs, Distinction English. Harmony Kwok, First in German, Distinction Accounting, Science and Science Extra. Sophie Lee, Distinction Science. Izzy Lindsay, Distinction Product and Spatial Design Technology. Maggie Long, Distinction English. Olive Lynch Gerard, Distinction Physical Education. Julianne Lapuz, First in Product and Spatial Design Technology and Distinction Mathematics and Statistics. <laughs> Evie Mallion, Distinction Fashion and Textiles Technology. Liv Maisie, Distinction Physical Education. Ismay McKay, 
first in fashion and textiles technology. Amy McCarty, Distinction Mathematics and Statistics. Ella McCready, Distinction English and Physical Education. <laughs> Sophie Morris, Distinction Humanities. Kyra Nahona, Distinction Science Internal. Ruth Moore, Distinction Mathematics and Statistics and Science. Alara Mitchell is absent today. Distinction Economics, French, Health and Physical Education and Science. Gala Montes Dioka Walker, Distinction Chinese, English, Mathematics and Statistics and Sociology. <laughs> Harriet Pierce, Distinction Mathematics and Statistics Internal. Caitlin Pinnacott, Distinction English and Science. Tiana Peterson, First in Transition and Pathways and Distinction Economics. Eleni Preble, Distinction English and Te Reo Māori. Sophia Pitchforth, Distinction English, Mathematics and Statistics and Science. Abby Reid, Distinction Physical Education. Olivia Ross, Distinction History. Raya Sandu, Distinction Mathematics and Statistics. Alexa Santos, Distinction English. Shazia Rafi, Distinction Mathematics and Statistics at Year 12, and Distinction Health. <laughs> Tasha Sidorov, Distinction Music. Ruby Stotter, Distinction Science Internal. Rio Shipman, Distinction Mathematics and Statistics Internal, Product and Spatial Design Technology and Sociology. Rio. Rija Shyam Sunder, Distinction History, Mathematics and Statistics and Science. Lara Smith, Thorndon New World Cup for First in Economics, First in Science and Distinction English. Tara Swami, Distinction Sociology. Saffron Waitai, Distinction Transition and Pathways. Cameron Wells, Distinction Geography. Elizabeth Whitaker, Distinction English and Physical Education. Jess Sutherland, First in Sociology, Distinction Economics, English, History, and science. <laughs> Janelle Woolley, Distinction Drama. Anna Zudovic, First in Mathematics and Statistics Internal. Xanthi Wong, absent today. Price Waterhouse Cup for First in Accounting and Distinction Mathematics and Statistics. Jenny Yang, Academic Effort Award, English Language One, Academic, English, Academic Effort Award, English Language Literacy, Distinction Product and Spatial Design Technology. <laughs> Congratulations to you all. I'd now like to call on our principal, Mrs. Davidson, to announce the next three awards.
We're now going to announce three memorial awards. These awards are given uh, in memory of usually a staff member or a student who has died, and it, because of that, I'm going to ask you to stand for a moment's silence first out of respect for the people whose memories they've been given in. Thank you. We'll now present these awards in the usual manner. The first is for Ella Beeling. Ella receives the Grace Halley Memorial Cup for Excellence in Physical Education at Year 11. <laughs> Ruby Crow. Ruby receives the Jane Godfrey Memorial Prize for High Distinction in Latin at Year 11. And Isabel Feltham, who receives the Jesse Butler Memorial Prize for Excellence in French at Year 11. <laughs> Thank you, Cathy. We wish you well in Rarotonga. We are very envious, I think. Congratulations to all the Year 11 award winners. And I'd now, now like to hand over to the 2021 head students, Evie and Izzy. Kia ora everyone. You may be joining us from your office, from a cafe during your lunch break, a mid-morning coffee run, up in your Wananga rooms, or here in the hall today as one of our prize winners. Wherever you are, thank you for tuning in. And this may be a sentence we've said a lot this year, but this isn't exactly what we hoped for. Unfortunately, due to COVID restrictions, we're not able to all be together in the Michael Fowler, with our, in the Michael Fowler Centre with our usual three-hour ceremony. Some of you may see this as a blessing, and others of you may be feeling a little hard done by and upset that we don't have the usual celebrations. But luckily, some wise head gals we know came into this year with a theme of a kaleidoscope, which has prepared us for this. Coming out of 2020, we know that things don't always go as planned, and we need to be able to work through change. And so with this theme in mind, we were able to understand that change isn't always a bad thing. The final image may be different from what we envisioned, but it's just as bright and just as beautiful. We know this year has been hard with our normal things we looked forward to being taken away over the past few months, but we're extremely proud of our WGC family who have taken on this change with a positive mindset and made the most out of what we have and still can do. This isn't a time to dwell on what could have been, but celebrate what we did have, which is make it through the monster of a year that has been 2021, and what a year it's been. COVID aside, this year has still been one for the books. We were lucky enough to start off the year with our usual ath athletics day, where the usual house rivalries were ignited and gave us a healthy dose of competition. We also had our year nine swimming sports, a netball game against Cole, which we won. Uh, our, new seal got to have, our new teal seal got to have many moments in the spotlight. Summer tournament week went ahead, the big sing got the go ahead, our school's production, Enemy of the People, got to perform all of its shows, showquest happened, to Tanga to happened, our kapahaka group got to go to regionals after two years of preparation. Junior and senior drama productions got to perform in the first 11 hockey team, won their division for the third year in a row. So looking back, so much we're still able to go ahead. And if you said to us in year nine that we would be the head students filming virtual assemblies in the midst of a pandemic, I would have said, don't be silly, you little sassy. <laughs> Honestly, it feels like just yesterday when we featured on the WGC Team Tail Instagram story saying, I'm Evie. And I'm Izzy. And, and we're, we're your head girls, girls for 2021. 2021. And now, after it's been a long year in our roles, and our final year of high school is coming to an end, in case we didn't make that clear already, we couldn't have asked for a better time at WGC and a better colour to rep. WGC has taught us both so much and has made us into the people we are today. We have learned to be resilient, whether after an injury or when lacking design capabilities. We have learned that accepting help from others and working together, like a kaleidoscope, holds a big part in reaching the end goal. To form the final image, all the little pieces must come together, and no one piece is more important than the other. So we want to say thank you to a few important people that have been these little pieces in our kaleidoscope, which, have, which has helped us not only during our time as head girls, but on our journey at WC as a whole. To Mrs Davidson, who was not only our weekly jet plane supplier, but someone who has helped us immensely throughout the year. We appreciate the time and effort you put into WC, especially with the circumstances of this year. You've always made sure that the whole school, especially our year 13, could get the best out of 2021. To Ms Wilson, who has been by our side and helped us with every exec run event. 
We're beyond grateful for your constant guidance and willingness to help us out. Your head full of brilliant ideas and fun wit that you bring to our exec meetings has made our time on exec one to remember. To our friends and Fano who have been by our sides through our most stressful times, we love and appreciate you so much. We wouldn't have been able to make it through this year without you. And to all the other WGC supporters out there, who don't rip the teal, but bleed it. Those who come to sports games and performances. Who help us with our last minute Athletics Day costume DIYs. There to calm us down the night before an internal is due. And even tune into a virtual prize giving to show their support. We know it's not always said, but the help you give us does not go unnoticed, so thank you. And finally, to our extended Teal family, the students and, students and staff at WGC, for giving us the chance to lead in our final year. Your belief and commitment to our learning you've shown over the past five years has shaped, shaped us into who we are, and we cannot thank you enough. So as we say farewell, we're glad we got this time at WGC. We got, we're glad we got this time to give <laughs> WGC the proper send-off it deserves. It's done us good these past five years and we hope we were able to contribute even a fraction of the many wonderful things it has brought to us. Although we're ready to move on, we knew this was gonna be a hard goodbye. We, WGC has taught us so much and we will never forget the memories we've made within these teal walls. So for now, it's bye from us, but not forever. Wherever we are in the next chapter, one thing is for certain. That is, we will always bleed, bleed teal. <laughs> That concludes our Year 11 Prize Giving Award Ceremony for 2021. We will now watch the retrospective, which tells the story of 2021 at WGC. Oh,
Could I now ask you to stand as the official party leaves, accompanied by our string quartet. Once the music finishes, you may leave.